my first slam, so. <laughs> when he was 10 years old, he was moved away from his home. A home where he heard the word bully, but it was something that didn't exist. Something out of storybooks made to scare young ones into conformity. Be this way, play this sport, have this interest, but always remember to be yourself. When he was 10 years old, he started at a new school, a school three times the size of the one he'd just left with 10 tons of testosterone, a middle school where he was the youngest one to attend. On his first day, he learned it was nothing like in the stories. The stories were cruelty as blind and in black ink, dried and parched as paper it's pasted on with none of the substance and the word cruelty tries and fails to bring to mind. When he was 10 years old, he had no idea how to fight. And suddenly it was the expectation that he did. So he learned and he adapted, never too scared to face the threat advancing on him, but never confident enough to win, surviving and thriving on his bitter refusal to be this way, play this sport, have this interest. He remembered to be himself, the kind of courage diamonds have, hoping they won't be mined out, but fearing the day they get taken and made into something different, something people want to show off. A full year this went on. Fighting three or four fights a day, going home, battered and bruised, only to fight hopelessly against his older brother, explaining each and every bruise as an injury sustained on the playground, when in reality every bruise was an entry in his journal, every cut and split knuckle was a new word he would utilize, trying to prove how unreasonable it was that someone so young could hurt so much, building a defense for himself as if cruelty could ever understand reason. And he wasn't the only one who lived this way. Fighting every day, living in fear, hoping you won't have to fight again, and finding a way to hope again tomorrow. Someone who grew up like that should hate fighting. But today he loves it. Today he hates feeling so much that every time he does, he comes home with split knuckles and a smile on his face because to him that's how things are sorted out. He's too scared to ask for help because he only knows how to fight battles on his own, and he tries to forget every new word he's ever learned, but he can only forget them as easily as he can forget the scars on the backs of his hands because of where they are. He knows them so well. He never was that way, he never played that sport, and he never had that interest. But somewhere along the way, something changed. Somewhere along the way, he forgot how to be himself. Thank you.